What would you get if you combined the Container Store, Hobby Lobby, Lowe's, and Home Goods together? I'm glad you asked. Hello, welcome back to The Crafty Organizer. I'm Noreen Burke, and I just discovered a store that many of you might already know about, but we just got one in my area, and that is at home. This store, you guys, is a little bit of everything you love about walking into Hobby Lobby with all of the home decor. Lowe's with the giant selection of patio and outside decor items and pots. Container store for the amazing containers and organizing ideas. And home goods just for the sheer ideas of how to decorate your home. Now when I say that this is a big store, it is an understatement. I got to talk with one of the managers who didn't agree to go on camera, so I'm going to be summarizing some of the things that they said. But the store that we just got in Long Beach, California is one of the biggest stores they have so far. And it overtook one of the old Kmarts that got emptied. They're looking for these retail spaces because they're in great locations already. They're huge and they have the inventory to fill it. Currently there are almost 220 stores in the US. Check their website and find out if one is coming to your area. Now there are several things that I discovered I loved about this store. One of them is they have multiple price levels. So you can find something that's completely budgeted and affordable all the way up to the upper scale things and I think that's a great option when you're shopping for something. Especially if you're really trying to make a certain area look nice, you can pick one focal point and then go ahead and accessorize with more affordable things. Another thing that I like is they work with the community. They work directly with Habitat for Humanity and then in each state they work with other community supportive programs to help with whatever that specific region needs and I really love that. Also in each department that you go into they have these buying guides. These buying guides are set up to help you really identify what you would need based on the parameter of sizes or styles and it just helps to make it a little less overwhelming because this store you guys is huge. Let's take a look at some of the departments. So here's a sampling of some of the categories and trust me, this is a broad overview. As you get into each one of these departments, you will realize that there are tons of subcategories in here. So the first area I wanna focus on is furniture. They have so many different selections for dining rooms, living rooms, bedrooms. They have small side tables, chairs, and all of these are in different colors, different styles, and different price ranges. So they'll have samples out and then they'll have the unassembled items inside of boxes for you to grab. But a lot of the pieces are smaller and you can just take as they are and use them in your home immediately. But I was blown away just by the options. This reminded me of Ikea because they have so many different levels of styles and prices. So this is just a quick idea of some of the things. Now going into decor and pillows, I have never seen so many rows of pillows. I'm not showing all of them, but within each aisle they have them broken down by color and then by hues. Do you see how many yellow pillows are here? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. So once you get into the aisle and you identify the color scheme you want and they're all broken down again, I didn't get to the blues, the purples, the greens, but check out just this aisle and start noticing the different textures. They've got velvet, canvas, crocheted, they've got fuzzy pillows, even the textures within themselves, some of them are striped, some of them are polka dotted. I was blown away by the sheer option. The least expensive one I saw was $4.99 and some of the really nicer pillows went up to about $30. But if you want a pillow, this is the place to find it. Now going into the other decor styles, once again, there if you can think it, they have got it here. When it comes to florals, I was really surprised by how many they had. Many were pre-done, but if you want to come up with your own design style, they had loose flowers and floral picks that you could utilize as well. 
Now, something I noticed with their flowers was they were all water resistant. I love putting fake flowers outside because I'm not very good at watering them. Having them water resistant and they also had a UV protector on them means they're going to last longer, especially if you're in harsher elements like the California sun. The price, even though this was blurry, one stem was about $3.99 and they do go on sale often. I thought that was pretty reasonable. This aisle looks like Hobby Lobby to me. The 40% off is very indicative of that styling. This particular store wasn't officially open yet, but I got to sneak in and take a look. So these shelves are empty because they hadn't finished stocking, but they had some great seasonal selections. They also have many areas where they've got vignettes set up so you can get an idea of styling. I know I personally need to have an inspiration to see how things should or could be styled and they have the items close by to find them. They also have tons of employees walking around to help you find the items and they were super helpful. Now going into the outdoor section, Honestly, I have never seen so many things. Now, these are the outdoor pots, and this is different than the indoor pots, which are in a completely different section. So the nice thing with that is you can really find something that's gonna fit your style and your budget. Some of these outdoor pots were a little bit pricier, but when you go into the indoor decor, you can find something that's maybe made of a different material, which could bring the cost down. But look at these hand-painted pots. Aren't they stunning? So it doesn't matter what your color is, you're going to find it here. It was incredible. And this isn't even all of them. This is just the center aisles that were set up with these pots. Now we're going into the chair pads. And this was another area that just blew me away because they have so many different sizes, textures, colors, price points. I, I just couldn't believe it. The aisles keep going on and on. And what's fun about this is they have solids, but then there's also areas where you get into where there's these bold, fun textures and patterns. And if you find something you like, you can start looking in the section and know that they're going to have chair cushions in different sizes and shapes, the back cushions, the pillows. Do you have a chase lounge? Do you have a little sofa couch? Do you have a bench? Do you have a swing? It doesn't matter. They're going to have it. And then they also have the outdoor pillows, which are different than the indoor because the fabric is meant to be more durable for that outside weather. So. Once you find what color and fabric you like, you can really mix and match. I really liked this floral tropical with the black because it means you can then bounce in some solids. But once again, it gives you the buyer's guide to just figure out what shape you need and then you can go ahead and match it. And if you don't have furniture, they have all of the outdoor furniture right there so that you can start putting together the perfect area. Now, they also have more umbrellas than I knew existed. They have, once again, a color that will coordinate with whichever cushion you just decided to buy, but they also have the different shapes so that if you want a small umbrella or if you're trying to cover a large outdoor dining table, you can find that. Now, the next area is not even on this list, and that's plants. As I mentioned, as you're in here looking at the departments, this was part of decor, but the amount of plants that they had, and these are all artificial plants, was amazing. Some look more artificial than others because they're a, low, a lower price point, but some of these look like real plants. And once again, they're weather resistant, water resistant, and UV protected. Look at these topiaries, you guys. If you have a chance to check out one of these stores, I really suggest going in. Leave your wallet at home so you're not tempted to spend, but it was incredible. Now getting into the wall decor, this involves anything that is hanging on a wall. Mirrors, shelves, clocks, artwork, plaques, you name it, if it's hanging on a wall, chances are they're going to have it here. And if it's not in the store, you guys, their website has even more on it, and I strongly suggest if you get a chance, 
check out their clearance section because you'll find something. Now let's get into my favorite area, storage and cleaning. Oh, I always love a store that gives a lot of storage options and at home did not disappoint. They had some of my favorite brands, but once again, they had other options and they have different versions of almost every item so that it will fit inside of your budget. And let me just say right now, I'm not sponsored. At home doesn't know I'm doing this. Even when I got to speak with their manager, they were super nice. Sometimes when you walk into a store, they'll see you filming and the first thing they say is, you can't film in here. The manager walked up and said, what you doing? And I said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm filming for a video. If it's not allowed, I'll stop. And they said, no, 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 but why are you filming? And so I explained that I do tutorial videos and that I was just looking at this store and all the options. And this wonderful person spent 20 minutes just chatting with me, walking me around the store, explaining what they were doing. I was so impressed with them. So as much as I'd love to be sponsored, hey, at home, I'm not. This truly was just a store that I got to visit, I was really impressed with, and I was excited to share with you. So these are the storage containers I love for actually storing things that you're not using on a regular basis. I've talked about these for uh, seasonal items, for overflow items, if you're trying to break things down in a closet, a garage. These are the ones that I like, but again, they have the different options so that you can find a price point that fits your budget and I really appreciate that. But they also have the fun containers that you would see at the container store that you could pick up at Target at, and also at Ikea. So if you're trying to break down smaller areas, organizing a drawer, a cabinet, or subdividing something in a larger container, they have tons of options that will fit your aesthetic and your budget. If you're trying to organize a closet or an area of your home and you have one of these stores, I think you will easily be able to find something that will fit your needs and allow you to still be creative finding a look that matches your aesthetic. Can you believe? And I didn't even cover all of the aisles, you guys. I was trying to get through quickly just to give you an idea. Now, I didn't even get to do curtains. All I did was walk through the rug aisle and every time I got to a new pathway, and saw how many rugs they had, how many sizes they offered within each pattern, and got to see the price points, I was just blown away. I got totally distracted and didn't even get to go look into the curtains. But I have never seen so many options under one roof. If I had an unlimited credit card and I didn't have to worry about paying it back, I could have easily filled up several carts and just redid my entire house. But I was really impressed. If you have one of these close to you, I know I've already said this, but definitely check them out. This isn't even all of the rugs. Indoor, outdoor, area rugs, full room rugs. If you've got something in mind, chances are you'll find it here. They also have pet sections. I can't cover the whole store, but I really loved they have pet sections. This is why it reminded me of home goods because they have so many things for your pets. I thought this was cute. I'd love to, but my dog said no, which would be Yzma. So they have a kitchen area where you've got anything for decor, but they also had the containers, which I love. A lot of these were the OXO, but they also had a similar item that was their brand. They have party supplies, dishes, silverware. They had some cookware unbelievable that they have so many of these options these are chair cushions under one roof they have a lot of seasonal decor that they'll replace out by season so you guys I've never seen a store like this if you have a chance look at them online see if you've got one coming to your area and definitely definitely watch for those clearance sections as they come up but I was just blown away by the sheer magnitude of how much they had in one store of just every imaginable thing. And I really appreciated how they put things together to help you get an idea for styling your space. This is something that totally piqued my interest. This is an outdoor fire pit. And I have to say I was tempted, so I did buy a few things. 
I did get those solar lights and I am hoping to mimic that little fire pit. So stay tuned. I did my backyard a couple of weeks ago and with the things that were happening in life, I haven't gotten to post that yet, but I'll be posting that video with that fire pit duplicate in just a few weeks. So be sure you've hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching today. Thank you to my patrons who absolutely helped me make these videos and thank you to you for watching. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have one of these stores in your area and what you've thought of it. Are there any tips or tricks that I don't know about? Let me know and your fellow viewers will really appreciate it. I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye.